Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a great start to your Sunday. It is absolutely beautiful out here. It's about 60 degrees. Sun's just coming up, 6 a.m. No wind once again, but one issue. There are no new tundras on the lot to speak of. We will take a quick walk through these, but first I wanna stop on the 1794 edition tundra. We're gonna talk a little bit about this. Where did it come from? What is the point of the 1794? And why do I feel it is the premier trim when it comes to Tundra? The name 1794 says it all. This truck came out in 2014 with the mid-cycle refresh and it shared with the Platinum basically the top trim level you could get with all the luxury features. The only difference between this and the Platinum when it came out and even today is this is the Western theme. So every manufacturer has a Western truck. Well, the 1794 edition Tundra, that's it. So when it first came out, it was something that you would expect someone to be very proud of and want people to see because it had chrome all over it, a big chrome grill in front. It had chrome wheels, 20 inch chrome wheels on it, chrome kind of like this all around on the handles, the mirrors, everything. And over the times uh, that we've seen this truck since 2014, they've definitely done some things to it to kind of dull it out a little bit and I mean that in a good way um, when the 2014 1794 came out there was no TRD off-road package available for it that came in 2016 so when you go TRD off-road package you know what it does it gives you a black wheel or then it gave you a black wheel with a silver lip on it and it looked a little bit different and took some of the chrome away now with this new generation you get a TRD grill in front but let's stick with the old generation for a little bit and then we will move on to what we're seeing today. So 1794, what that means when it comes to uh, the name of this truck and it being the Western edition, 1794 is the year the ranch was founded that TMMTX where the Tundra is built sits on today. All right, so it's not just a cool cowboy-esque name. It actually does mean something. So the ranch that uh, TMMTX sits on was founded in 1794 and let me just tell you right now the people that build your tundras are very proud of what they do and proud that you love their product so I think that's even cooler uh, to just instead of name it something neat you know that has to do with a, a ranch or something to do with cowboy 1794 has some meaning now as we went through the years with the 1794, we saw some changes. When we got up around 2018, Toyota Safety Sense came to it. They changed the grill out. Uh, you know, they changed some things, LED headlights, LED fog lights. Again, it was the premier trim. There was no capstone yet. Platinum and 1794 were the top of the mast. It came one way, 5.7 liter V8, crew max with the five and a half foot bed. When we came up into this generation, you started to get a lot more options. Back then it had a, what they called the saddle brown, but it was more like an orange interior. Now you have a choice of interiors. So when they came up into uh, the new generation Tundra in 2022, they still kept that 1794 in a very high luxury level. I mean, in today's 1794, you get panoramic roof, JBL sound system. You can really option this truck out the way you want a lot more than you could in the past. Like I said, last generation, it was one way. This generation, five and a half foot bed, six and a half foot bed on your crew max, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, two engine options, iForce, like this beautiful one right here, iForce Max, you could get it TRD off-road or regular. And as you can see with the TRD off-road, you get a nice 20 inch wheel and tire package. You get a locking rear diff with the TRD off-roads now. And don't forget the TRD off-road package. It actually gives you things like multi-terrain select, crawl control, uh, hill descent control. There's a lot of new stuff on the TRD off-road package. It's no longer just an appearance with Bilstein shocks and wheels. Uh, you get a little bit more. Uh, but nowadays you could do a cream interior on the inside or you could do the saddle brown. And the saddle brown is a lot more refined than it was in the last generation. I like both of them. This is my favorite trim. I like the loud, almost orange interior that used to be on it, but this one is more truly a brown and everything does flow together really nicely. We will walk up and we will try to see on the inside, see if the lighting is good enough. There's pollen everywhere. I don't know how good it's gonna be. This side's probably no good, so we're circling around. But like I said, when you get the TRD off-road package in this generation, it changes the grill to the TRD grill. I mean, this thing has 360 degree camera. I mean, it has the huge 14 inch screen on the inside, JBL. There's a good shot. As you could see, 
it's brown, but it's not insanely brown. And there's brown on the dash. It all flows together really nicely. The interiors of these new generation Tundras now definitely have a really good amount of flow when it comes to random splashes of color on the inside. This truck, they did a great job with. There is still some chrome on the truck, but I feel like there is a lot less chrome than there was. And the chrome placement is a lot better than it's ever been, as you can see there. And on the handles and around the window there. And just to show you that when you buy something like a 1794, that it's something special. In the lower trims on SR5, you will see Tundra down on the door. Well, for Platinum 1794 and Capstone, you'll see 1794 edition down on the door. So a Western themed Tundra that you can option up any way you want these days. The price is gonna run you depending on how you set it up in the 60s, sometimes up into the 70s if you go iForce Max. Premium headlights that are auto leveling. I mean, they've come such a long way since 2014 when this truck first came out. I fell in love from the moment I saw it, but I feel like today's generation is the best it's ever been. Not just because of the options, but just because the meaning. The meaning and they stayed with it and they kept it up near the top of the trims. Now the capstone these days is the top Tundra you can get as far as trim packaging, but they know what the 1794 is and any true Toyota fan or Tundra enthusiast like me, as you know, I'm obsessed with the Tundra. This thing right here, the 1794, this is the trim that means the most to the Tundra line in my opinion. Sure, TRD Pro pays homage to the heritage of all of the racing Toyota's done, Ivan, Iron Man, Stewart, all that stuff. And we love the TRD Pro. The SR5 is the workhorse package that everybody buys, but the 1794, this says thank you and great job to the people that build the truck. 1794 TMMTX, to me, just means a little bit more. So I wanna know from you guys, what do you think of the 1794 edition Tundra? And how do you feel about the evolution of the truck since 2014? Like I said, it's come a long way. It's only been available in Crew Max cabs since the beginning. And that continues, uh, excuse me, continues to be that way. But now, like I said, you could have different bed sizes, different engines, um, and a different color on the interior. And you're still going to get all of those insane features that you could always get. So I'd love to know what you think of the 1794 edition. Is it something you would consider? This is the premier trim, the trim that should be the trim you think about when you say Toyota Tundra. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this one. Now, that is your history lesson on the 1794, the greatest trim of Tundra.